Now the active record is another step towards object orientation really because the active record is essentially a combination of the row data gateway with domain logic mixed in. So we're bringing together the object orientation, which is the domain logic, with the functionality of interacting with the database. Within the active record object, we'll have properties for each database column. We'll have the insert, update, and delete methods as before. And in this example, we could have had a separate finder class, but in this example, what I've done is put all the find methods as static methods within this class. And what we're also able to do then is to build in some of the domain logic, things like the business rules and validation and so on. Because if we're going to insert, then we really ought to do some validation of the values to make sure that, that what we're inserting meets the business rules. And typically, there'll be one of these active record objects per table row. By using the active record objects throughout the system, we could potentially use those as the data transfer objects because they already hold all the data for a given row. And we could just pass that over to a servlet, not just the model servlet, but that model servlet could then pass it on to the view servlet. And what we really need to ask ourselves is, is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Because what's happening really is that we are now making the database design much more closely coupled with object design. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? In a sense, that, that isn't so bad in my opinion. That's not a big problem. But the first one of using these active records as data transfer objects, that in my opinion is not a good thing. Because what it would do, for example, is you get the model that calls this active record, which populates itself, and then the model will pass the active record over to the view. And all of a sudden, that gives the view the option of updating the database. But view components don't change the database. That's the role for a model component. So in terms of being purist, then it's not a good thing to use active record objects as data transfer objects. And so in the example that I'm about to show you, we're not going to do that. We're going to have data transfer objects separate from the active record objects. Actually, having said that, I'm not sure we do. Let's take a quick look in here. Get all locations. That's the one we were looking at before. So it simply calls from the department active record, find all. Now, the department active record is this class here, which has got the SQL. And now, I've actually done this very slightly differently from the previous two examples. There's the select all, select star from depth. And then I've got the various clauses as separate strings. So by ID is where depth no equals question mark. By name is where dname equals question mark. And then the order by clause is a separate string. That means I can then mix and match, you see, and I, I don't have quite so many uh, definitions here. So for example, if I'm going to prepare this statement, select all order by dname, then I just combine those two strings. If I want to find by ID, then select all plus the where clause for IDs and so on. So the find methods work in the same way as before, except for that little thing I've just mentioned, and call create department and so on. Let's see what create department does. Well, create department creates an instance of the department active record. So these are creating objects. Don't forget the find methods and this create department method. These are static, they're class level methods. And what they're now doing is creating objects of the department active record class. And those objects that are created will have those properties along with the, the necessary methods for setting and getting. So here we have the get, the set methods, and also the methods for inserting and updating and deleting. Once the servlet has got that, it's receiving in return from find all. Let's just double check to see what find all does. It returns an array list of these active record objects. That's then stored as a bean in the location called location list on the request scope. So that will be the end of the model. And what the model has done is actually use that active record to transfer the data the view, view all locations JSP, will then get from the request scope the attribute location list and will then process it by calling the get methods. 
okay, we've used this as a data transfer object and it works, but we've now got the possibility, if we really, really wanted to, of doing something really rather naughty. Let me just show you, instead of get name, we could call the insert method. A view component should never be inserting or in any way interacting directly with the database. So that's not really a good thing. So although the example shows that you can do it, in my opinion, it really ought not to. It comes back to this question here. Is it a good or a bad thing? Well, it could be considered a good thing if you're interested in not proliferating, <laughs> multiplying your number of classes. It could be a good thing if you decide that you want to keep all the functionality related to this object in one place. But in my mind, and as I said earlier, I'm a bit of a purist in this thing, if you're going to have database interaction, that belongs to the model component and should sit squarely only within the model area. And the view should not even have the option of interacting with the database. Additionally, we could write ourselves a Java standalone application that serves as a client to this internet application. What are you going to do then? Are you going to allow the client, which might be somewhere in, I don't know, the other side of the world somewhere, have the option of interacting with your database because you're passing as a data transfer object an active record? That really doesn't make sense in, in any way, shape or form in my mind. And therefore, if you're not going to do it with a client, why are you wanting to do it with uh, allowing views to interact with your database? So it's really just a question of just how much tolerance you're, uh, you're going to give in this question. But it's up to you, of course. You, you make your own decisions and, and make your own view, uh, mind up on those things. So there we have, then, the three design patterns for interacting with databases, the table data gateway, the row data gateway, and the active record.